How's it going, everybody? So, last chance to get Moltres. Get out there and get him. I'm going to go into my Moltres right now. We're going to just take a look at what I've gotten. Um, I'm all done with Moltres because um, I want to save my raid passes. I've been going on a rampage here. And so I just want to slow it down because there's no real point to collecting more. I mean, there, there there's an absolute point, And the point is to collect as many as you can for trading. But, yeah, let's see. So we have 6, 12, <laughs> 13, 14, 15. So a 15 Moltres. That's awesome. I, I did, you know, I'm good to go. Um, let's go ahead and check out um, Articuno. All right, so 6, 12, 15 on Articunos. Oh, all right, excellent. And Lugia. Uh, I think that's uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 Lugias. Because I, I haven't even been trying to go for them. After I got my um, 98 right here, I haven't even tried to go for them. I've done like one or two or three after I caught this one. So, oh yeah, <laughs> all right, let's take a look at some more videos. Okay, now with that said, I'm gonna give you a few tips on the catch this thing. Um, it, you've, you've probably seen by now, you know, the little tricks that you can do which do, do not work. So, I'm gonna suggest to you this. If you can curveball, and if you can hit a nice or great, just do that and throw a golden raspberry at it. I have 15, I, I've done 29 raids or so, so, I mean, uh, with the Moltres, so, I, I mean, I, I'm over half, you know, I'm over half. I've gotten over half, so that's that's basically it, guys. There's no tricks. You're not going to throw puppery on the ground, step on it five times, spin around eight times, jump up in the, in the air, close your eyes with your hands, and then sprinkle some oatmeal, and then run around the building eight times, and, and then, you know, get on your knees, and then I'll back up on your feet, and then do another circle, and then Moltres is going to be caught. Ain't going to happen, folks. You're going to have to just simply curveball it, nice throw, great throw. And I'm to be honest, I'm going to tell you to be honest, most of the time I catch these, it's going to be in your first, second, or third, or second to your last throw. The second to the last one is kind of rare, but it's usually your first. Try your hardest to make your first throw a great throw, or an excellent, or nice. Um, but to be honest, I've also missed all of those and uh even if you miss it too completely it's the first hit okay don't worry about that it's the first hit so that's your greatest chance of catching it so go for your nice th the best throw you can possibly do first off don't don't try to go for that excellent and and, and not get it I, if i were you i recommend going for great curveball raspberry simple as that last chance gotta get them while they're hot mulches is hot and then Zaphodos, we're going to get that one uh, today, Sunday. Yeah, so we have one more day, a day and a half. I would predict it's going to come out the same way uh, like Moltres. So midday, it will, depends on where you live, okay? This is actually subject to be different here. I live in Alaska. Personally, for me, it, it came out like three, four-ish. Yeah, between three and four or five. Um... I believe it was like 3.30, 3.30 p.m. So it's going to be sweet. I'm going to go to town on those, get some Zapados, because I've, I'm going to tell you how it is. Okay? <laughs> I used to do tournaments. I've been doing Pokemon tournaments my whole life. So if there's people out there who think I haven't been playing Pokemon and I just play Pokemon Go, you're greatly mistaken. Just because I cannot pronounce a few Pokemon names correctly does not mean I don't know Pokemon. Okay, so here you go. Okay, so with that said, I'm going to be bringing you guys some more videos on Zapdos, Zapetter, <laughs> and um, other things. So I'm going to go try to find an Exeggutor today because, an Exeggutor today because it's just been like, are you kidding me? I used to, I see them on every single corner of the raid ones. And of course, the day I want to find one and, you know, battle with my Moltres, I can't find one. So, wacky. <laughs> All right, so, um. Enjoy the rest of this, guys. Uh, pretty sure that's all I wanted to talk about. So I want to talk about the time and how to catch and just showing you my Pokemon. Okay, yeah, we're good to go. I um, hope you enjoy the rest of this video, guys. Take care. And if you live in Anchorage, I'll possibly see you at the raids. But the thing is, um, 
I kind of wanted to just go to them, just watch. <laughs> because it's, you know, this is going to be gone soon. I know there'll be a lot more legendaries and all that, but I have enough Pokemon as it is, or I have enough Moltres. I, I don't need to spend any more raid passes. I could really, really, seriously, we have one more day. I got 15. There's, for me, there's no need to have any more. It's just going to take inventory space. Um, and yeah. So anyways, uh, thank you for watching everybody and I'll catch you on my next video. Take care. Ho, oh, Zapdos better. Okay. So anyways, about the tournaments, uh, was about mm, 11 or 12. And I used to go to this place over on, uh, South side here in Anchorage, like around Hillside it used to call be called Microplay. And uh, they had tournaments, and I won several of those as a child. And then I kind of stopped playing, and I went back to do some more tournaments as I got older. I uh, would say like 25-ish, won those. And then uh, I left again, came back again when I was a little bit older, and dominated. <laughs> All right. Um, so I know Pokemon quite well. Anyways, with that said... <laughs> Don't think I'm just some Pokemon Go uh, bandwagon person. And if that, and if you are never played Pokemon before, that is perfectly fine. Welcome to Pokemon. I'm not trying to say anything. I just, just I was getting a few gripes and complainers about it, so I just want to set the record straight. I could pull out my DS at this very moment with Sun and Moon in it, and I'll take you on. Okay? Yeah. Let, let's go. No items. That's the way I like it. We could throw items on our Pokemon. But anyways getting completely off topic um i'm extremely competitive in pokemon uh and not just in go i have a team that's i call it the dream team you know whatever <laughs> i don't really call it that i just made that up just now but anyways last chance for Moltres, folks get them while they're hot first throw is your most guaranteed chance to get it with golden raspberry and the best kind of uh hit you can do excellent great or nice i recommend uh, great because i don't know whatever you want to do okay give it a shot and i also have another tip for everybody okay and this is going to help a lot of you out um you if your phone is being screwy and your time is off from other people's raids or if you go into a raid and you're and it says time up or if things don't just add up and you can't see incense and Pokemon are appearing are not appearing for you when they should be appearing. Um, don't think you got Shadow Band or anything like that, um, because there is a solution for this. So here we go. What you're gonna want to do is, I don't know if you're on uh, iPhone. It's probably the similar. It's basically the same, but I don't know the setting routine. So basically, just follow along to a degree. This is Android here. So if you're having those issues um, and things are just weird. Try going into settings, search time or time and date, go to time and date and switch it to automatic. Okay. Your time is off from the server time and thus making everything off and not in sync with the game. Um, that's it. Okay. So settings, time and date, and then click on time and date. And I don't know about you, uh, Android folks. I'm, I would assume it's basically the same thing. I mean, it's a time and date setting, so, you know. And you go on that, you click it, and you push automatic. Um, if that doesn't fix the solution, I don't, I'm don't. i sorry, I don't know. I'm just trying to help out here a little bit. I'm not a technician. <laughs> uh, but um, <clears throat> that helped a few people that I know out. So give it a shot. Because to be honest with you, I personally had this problem for a long time. I never could see the Pokemon on instance. I was just like, man, this game is so broken. And I just use incense all the time. I basically any any time I was playing, incense were on before I was forty, because I just wanted a continuous XP uh, stack up and also Stardust. That was back when I could spend a lot more money. <laughs> that was like I got to be a little bit more conserved now because that was intense. But anyways, um, so yeah, guys, go get your Moltres. And thank you for watching.